What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video. Before we get started with this video, I'd like to say that we here at Morales are hiring a new YouTube content creator. So if you like these videos, think you could do it yourself, enjoy being in front of the camera, have programming skills, and want to be a part of onboarding Web2 devs into the Web3 space, through your videos, you're in luck because we're now hiring for exactly that position. I've left a little link in the description for you can apply. So I hope to see a lot of you apply. But now to this video, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how you can use morale streams to listen to an entire blockchain as long as a specific event is emitted in specific transactions. For example, here, I'm looking at the Ethereum network and any NFTs that are transferred on the Ethereum network. So the ERC721 standard has this event called transfer, which emits the from address to to address and the token ID that was transferred. So as long as any transaction on the Ethereum network emits that event, we can listen to that with morale streams and display it and handle that information in our own backend when Morales sends us that stream. So let's go ahead and start it over here. Activate the stream. And now that it's activated, I have a webhook URL set up with my Node.js Express backend, and we can go check out all these streams that are coming in. So if we open up Visual Studio Code over here, look at this. The first stream has already come in. So on this block number, all these NFTs transfers happened. Now just the next block number over here came in and we got all these NFT transfers. So we're getting all the NFT transfers that are happening on the Ethereum network in real time. How cool is that? So that's anything, whatever NFT you could think of, they're being streamed to our backend. And what you could do with this data, now we're just consoling it to our terminal. You could store this in your database for data analysis or creating the next big NFT app. If this sounds exciting to you, stay stuck in and I'll show you how you can listen to a whole blockchain and stream the data very easily using Morales streams. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020, and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym, and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, getting started with this project, we have to have a Express Node.js app where we have a webhook URL, which Morales can send all the streams it listens to over here, and then we can handle the logic over here. Now we're just console logging the body of the webhook that Morales sends. And we also check that Morales is actually the one sending the webhook. So if someone gets access to our webhook URL, they can't post any malicious webhooks to our app. And we only know we're handling Morales sent streams. So if you want to check out how we make this, there'll be a link in the top right corner Corner. We've made a tutorial where we built this out so you can check that out. Also, there'll be a link in the description for the repo if, if you just want to grab it from there. So open up the terminal and go ahead and run this node.js app by running node index.js like so and it should say listening to streams. Now this is only running on our local machine. So we have to use ngrok to create a tunnel so anyone on the internet can send post requests to this node.js app that's only running on our local machine. So open up your terminal. Let's zoom this out a bit. Make sure you've installed ngrok and then run ngrok HTTP and 3000 because that's the port we have our Express app running on. And now you're set up, we have this webhook URL over here where we have to add the slash webhook. And that's where we can send from Morales side our webhooks. Now let's close this for a bit and open up a new repository in Visual Studio Code where we create our Morales stream programmatically. So open that up now. All right, so here I have this repo called all NFTs because we're going to create a stream that listens to all NFT transfers that happen on any network of your choosing. So to get that started off, go ahead and initialize a Node.js app, npm init. Go ahead and press enter a couple of times. Okay, yes. And now we have a package.json and our Node.js app is ready to rock. We have to install the dependencies. So all we'll need is npm, i, Morales, and ethers. Those are installing. Very nice. And now let's create our index.js file. So touch index.js. So we can actually start writing our logic in here. Okay, close down the terminal. And let's start off by importing Morales and EVM chains from Morales. So we can define which chain we want to listen to, like so. So we're requiring Morales, and we're requiring chains from Morales, so we can get the EVM chains that Morales supports. Now, next, let's go ahead and create an object that our webhook creation method will take. So call it const options equals an object. 
And in here, we'll have to pass the keys that are required for creating your Morales stream. All right, so the first key, of course, we have to define which chain we want to listen to. We'll listen to only Ethereum, but you could listen to the Polygon network, BSC, Avalanche, or the test networks like Mumbai, for example. Then we'll need to give a description for our webhook. So we'll call it all ETH NFT transfers. Following that, a tag for our webhook. So we'll, we can just give a simple tag like NFT. Then now, because we're not looking at any individual addresses, we have to define the key all addresses as true. So all addresses equal true. This will, this will allow us, as long as we provide a application binary interface and the topic we want to listen to, we won't have to provide a address to specifically listen to. We can listen to the whole network. Next, you also have to define whether you want contract logs, internal transactions, or native transactions. And the contract logs will be enough for us because those will have the NFT transfers. So what we'll say is include contract logs. Now, next, we have to provide the ABI, the application binary interface. Like I said over here, because we're looking at all the addresses, we have to know what what event we want to listen to. So for that, let's go check out Etherscan and check out what events, for example, ERC721 contracts emit. Jumping into Google Chrome, here I have Etherscan open and the Cool Cats token page, which is a pretty prominent NFT collection on the Ethereum network. So we can go check out the contract over here and we have the contract code. And if we scroll all the way down, you have the contract application binary interface. If we copy that, jump back into Visual Studio Code. Let's create a temporary file over here. Say for example, temp.json and paste the ABI in here. You can press Option Shift F and it'll format it for you nicely. Now, if we find from here, transfer, there's a couple different options, but if we scroll down a little bit, we find this transfer event. And this is coming from the ERC721 standard. So anytime any NFT token ID is transferred from any address to any address, it emits this event called transfer with these three inputs from to and token ID. So we can use this ABI to listen to these specific events. And as I said, these events would also occur on doodles, NFTs, so on and so forth. So by knowing the event you want to listen to across all smart contracts that have that event is very powerful. So let's go ahead and copy this out from over here, like so copy that. We can close the temp.json and create a ABI variable over here. Let's say const transfer ABI, and that will be equal to an array, which has the ABI, the transfer event within it. Now let's close this find. So with this transfer ABI, now we can paste that as the ABI over here into our options over here. So ABI equals transfer ABI. And with that, we also have to define this topic that we are listening to, which is the transfer topic. So this key called topic zero, and it is the transfer object with the three inputs. So from address to address and the token ID with their input types. Finally, the last parameter of the options object is the webhook URL, webhook URL. And this we can get straight from our terminal over here where we have ngrok running. So we just copy this over, jump back in here and paste it in here. Just remember to add the webhook because that is the endpoint we have for posting our webhooks. Go ahead and save that. And now we can go ahead and initialize an instance of Morales and create this stream. All right, so we've initialized Morales plenty of times. So that's just Morales start. And in the object, you have to provide your own API key, which you can get from the Morales admin dashboard. Let's just check how you get it. So open up Google Chrome. I have my Morales admin dashboard open over here, but here you have the Web3 APIs in the second option here in the left sidebar and your API key is over here. So always use your own API key and keep it safe. This is just for demonstration purposes. And what we can do after we've initialized Morales, we can go ahead and use these options to use the Morales streams add method to add a stream. So what you can go ahead and do is after Morales has started, go ahead and create a stream by awaiting Morales streams to add your options object. And then at the end, we can console log our stream, which will show us what our stream looks like. And we can even check it out in our Morales admin dashboard before we run this, save this. And I'll just show you that we don't have any streams currently in our admin dashboard here. So we have empty table over here with no streams found. And now if we jump back into Visual Studio Code, open up our terminal and in here, type out node index.js. That is beautiful. Now our stream has been created. And here is all the data of the stream that was created. And when you get this object, you know, it's successfully created. You can confirm this by opening a Google Chrome, going to your Morales admin dashboard streams, refreshing the page and check this out. We have our NFT tagged stream all ETH NFT transfers and it's active at the moment. You can even check it out, edit it out. So here you have all the details that we set 
over programmatically. And these you can change over here in the admin UI if you would like. We have the ABI and so on and so forth. So now everything is looking good. And because it's active, we should be able to open up our Express app where we have our webhook and we should have started seeing all the NFT transfers that are occurring on the Ethereum network. So open up Visual Studio Code. And here we have our webhook Express app open and check this out. We've started to receive streams because we're console logging the body of each webhook. So if you see here, we have all these NFTs being transferred, we get the from address, the to address, the token name, the token symbol, the token ID, and so on and so forth. And we're getting these constantly on a constant stream, they're constantly running in. And you can see they're all different NFTs that go ahead and emit the transfer event through the ERC 721 standard. So here we see a Halloween ninja because it's Halloween time. How cool is that we have Fox Garden, don't see any prominent big ones over here because we have so many NFTs going on. But look at this. That, how cool is that? Let's go ahead and pause the stream for a little bit because we don't need that constant stream of NFTs being transferred while we're still developing. So now as it's paused, we can jump back into Visual Studio Code and go ahead and check out what this data actually looks like. So every one of these objects with a new NFT transfer is stored in an array called NFT transfers. And looking a bit forward, we have the logs for each of these transfers and how the stream is being sent to us is in this one big object, which has the block details as well. So every block has a timestamp and a block number. And essentially, whatever NFT ha transfers happen in the specific block number, they'll be displayed in the NFT transfers object over here, excuse me, array. So all we can do is go ahead and check the body of our webhook, get the block number, and then loop through all the NFT transfers that occurred. And then we can display these in our console rather than this pretty hard to read big webhook body that we're currently seeing. And that will be a great demonstration for now. So, so close down the terminal and let's adjust this slightly. So now because we're console logging the body, let's go ahead and remove that. And rather than console logging the body over here, let's go ahead and first log into the terminal our block number by getting from the body the block object and the number key from there. So now we have the block number being displayed. And after that, we'll loop through all the NFT transfers like so. So for NFT transfer, these are every single one of the objects in the NFT transfers array, we can go ahead and console log the details of each transfer that happened in that block. So I've created this little neat console log over here that slices the first four digits of the two address, the last four digits of the two address, and then just says just received the token name they received and the token ID they received. And that will display us very nicely for each block what all the NFT transfers occurred in that block. Also, if you want to do a little check that you only get consecutive block numbers, what we can do is create a variable over here called block num like so, then just make sure that every time we get a webhook, we actually have a block number and the block number is greater than the block number we've set. And then we set the new block number to be the block number that's presented in the webhooks body. And then if those conditions are met, we just return. In reality, this might not be something you want. I think for demonstration purposes, it's nice for you to just see the next block coming in. But in a production environment, you'd actually want to check which transfers were actually confirmed and which were not. And you could also write logic of storing these NFTs on your Firebase database or your MongoDB database, whatever you'd like. This is just a little quirk that I'll demonstrate this functionality really nicely. So let's go ahead and save this open up our terminal once more. And because we didn't use Nodemon, let's go ahead and restart the server, press Ctrl C, let's go ahead and clear it and then run node index.js. So now we're listening to streams again, and we can jump back into Morales and restart the Morales streams. So here we are on the Morales admin dashboard, and we can go ahead and activate the stream again. And look at that. Now it's active. If we jump back into our Visual Studio code, look at this. Now we start seeing block number and all the NFTs that were transferred in that block. Now we get the next block number, Shiba Army, NSM Fusion in this block number. So they're constantly coming in. If we scroll back up, this was 043, the previous one is 042, and so on and so forth. So you constantly get a stream of NFTs that are being transferred on the Ethereum network, we can scroll to the bottom and look at this 048, we had the Bow Society, Mooncats, so on and so forth. And we get a constant stream. Like I said, now we're just displaying these NFTs on our terminal on this express app. But what you could do is every time these NFTs transfers happen, you could store this data on your own database for use in your app 
or whatever you are building if you're doing data analysis, whatever you'd like. Just to make sure that this is actually working, let's go ahead and change from the Ethereum network to the Polygon Mumbai testnet, make a transfer of NFT and see if it pops up here in real time. So jumping back into Google Chrome, let's go ahead and pause the stream. We can edit it from our admin dashboard over here. Go ahead, scroll down. Let's unselect Ethereum mainnet and select Polygon Mumbai testnet. Go ahead and scroll to the bottom, press edit stream. And look at that. Now we've changed the network to the Polygon Mumbai testnet. It's still paused. Let's go ahead and activate the stream. If we jump back into Visual Studio Code, now we're starting to get these NFTs from the Polygon Mumbai testnet. So these multi-faucet NFTs are from a very large block number because this is the block on the Mumbai testnet. Then as you see, there's way less traffic on the Polygon Mumbai testnet. So for example, here, the Lens Protocol profiles, Kanpai Pandas, over here and so on and so forth. So what we'll do next is go ahead and leave this running and go make a transfer on OpenSea and see if it pops up over here. So open up Google Chrome and go to OpenSea. All right, so here I'm on Testnet OpenSea on my own profile. We have a bunch of little different test NFTs. Here we have the mage test, test mages number five. So let's go ahead and try and transfer this. Open it up, go over here and transfer. Let's send it to one of my own addresses over here. Go ahead and press transfer. Now MetaMask will pop us and ask us to transfer it. Let's go ahead and go into split screen mode so we see our terminal in the same time. All right, like so. So now here we have a constant stream of the Polygon Mumbai NFT transfers and we're gonna transfer our own test NFT. Let's go ahead and confirm this. And look at that, as it went through, it just updated over here, block 28940627. My address just received one test mage. And if we scroll down, new NFT transfers are currently occurring as well. Seems like someone's posting a lot of these blockhouse NF test NFTs to their own address. But you saw our own NFT transfer went beautifully through and is presented here in real time. So we're getting all NFT transfers in real time to our app. And as I said, you can use this to go ahead and start storing this for your own use, whatever you're doing. If you want to create the greatest interface for NFT tracking, if you want to do analysis on NFTs being transferred, this is how you can do it with Morale Streams. I hope this was useful for you and you learned about the listening to all functionality. I'll catch you in the next one.